This coming Sunday is the 22nd Sunday in Ordinary Time. We continue to read about Jesus and those he encounters while he is teaching and preaching. We hear in today's account that some Pharisees and scribes who had come from Jerusalem have gathered around him. They are keeping a close eye on Jesus and his disciples. The passage is from Mark's Gospel, chapter 7, <clears throat> verses 1 through 8, verses 14 to 15, and 21 to 23. Let's take a listen. <clears throat> when the Pharisees with some scribes who had come from Jerusalem gathered around Jesus, they observed that some of his disciples ate their meals with unclean, that is, unwashed hands. For the Pharisees, and in fact all Jews, do not eat without carefully washing their hands, keeping the tradition of the elders. And on coming from the marketplace, they do not eat without purifying themselves. And there are many other things that they have traditionally observed, the purification of cups and jugs and kettles and beds. So the Pharisees and scribes questioned him, why do your disciples not follow the tradition of the elders, but instead eat a meal with unclean hands? He responded, Well did Isaiah prophesy about you hypocrites, as it is written, This people honors me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. In vain do they worship me, teaching as doctrines human precepts. You disregard God's commandment, but cling to human tradition. He summoned the crowd again and said to them, Hear me, all of you, and understand. Nothing that enters one from outside can defile that person, but the things that come out from within are what defile. From within, people, from their hearts, come evil thoughts, unchastity, theft, murder, adultery, greed, malice, deceit, licentiousness, envy, blasphemy, arrogance, folly. All these evils come from within, and they defile. The Pharisees would have been careful to observe all of the Jewish purity laws, so when they see that some of Jesus' disciples are eating with unclean, that is, unwashed hands, they take the opportunity to challenge Jesus. They ask him, why do your disciples not follow the tradition of the elders, but instead eat a meal with unclean hands? Jesus responds by calling them hypocrites. He says, you disregard God's commandment, but cling to human tradition. In another gospel passage, Jesus speaks about the two great commandments, to love God and to love our neighbor. These are the essentials for Jesus. This is the kind of action he is calling his disciples and all of his followers to take. He is not so concerned about the Jewish purity laws. He tells the crowd that has gathered around him, of course with the Pharisees and scribes listening in, nothing that enters one from the outside can defile that person. But the things that come out from within are what defile. Jesus is once again asking people to see what is in their hearts. Jesus' call for his followers to love God and neighbor was a call to let the love that is in their hearts be expressed towards God and neighbor. And as this love is expressed, it grows more and more. That heart becomes even more full of love that it is meant to be poured out from. In our own lives, we are called to follow those twin commands, to love God and neighbor, and as that love pours out of our hearts, it also gets replenished, gets renewed, resupplied. Jesus is not anti-law, against the law, but he said elsewhere in the Gospels that he has come to fulfill the law, that he sets the standard, and that the law must be based on love. All of the laws we follow in our homes, within our families, all of the laws we follow in our church must be ultimately rooted in love. That must be their foundation. We are invited to look at how we respond to Jesus in an external way, but more importantly, 
in an interior way from the heart. Let the gospel fill your week. See you in church. For now, God bless.